Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Following reports of EVM damage and instances of violence during the simultaneous Lok Sabha and Assembly polls, on April 19, repolling has commenced in eight polling stations across Arunachal Pradesh. In response to these incidents, the Election Commission issued an order on Sunday declaring the polling in the eight stations as void and scheduling fresh polling for today from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. The affected polling stations include Saryo in the Bameng Assembly constituency in East Kaming District, Long Telot under Nyapin Assembly seat in Kurin Kurmi, and Dingser, Bogia Siom, Jimbari, and Lengli police stations under Nacho constituency in Upper Subansari District. Independent candidate Shikha Sharma campaigned solo in Naugong without supporters. There are only two days left for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections to be held on 26 April. Major parties like the BJP, Congress and AIUDF are busy with extensive rallies and campaigning efforts. Shikha Sharma, contesting as an independent candidate from the Naugong Lok Sabha seat, was seen doing her election campaigning alone. Apart from just one bodyguard and her husband, no one is visible. Shikha Sharma, a female writer and literator, who is contesting as an independent candidate from the Naugong Lok Sabha seat. Badruddin Ajmal, the founder president of the All India United Democratic Front AIUDF and Lok Sabha MP, announced that his party is preparing to challenge the closure of madrasas in Assam by the state government in the Supreme Court. During an election campaign in Karim Ganj, Ajmal stated that the 750 madrasas that were closed in Assam, we will open them through the Supreme Court. Ajmal had challenged Assam's Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma in a previous election rally and pledged to establish 700 new madrasas if he wins the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Ajmal drew a comparison with the Uttar Pradesh government's decision to to close madrasas which the Supreme Court condemned. He expressed confidence that they would secure a favourable order from the court. Manipur's crucial link to the rest of the country has been severed following an IED blast. The blast rocked the vital bridge along NH2 in Kangpokpi district late last night. The blast which occurred at Sapermania has effectively cut off Imphal's connection to the rest of India. An alarm over security and stability in the region has come up. The targeted bridge was a lifeline for transportation, suffered significant damage, disrupting road communication and posing challenges for authorities tasked with restoring normalcy. Although there have been no reported injuries, the repercussions of the blast are substantial. Labourers working at quarries along the banks of the Sekmai River have been affected with operations halted for the entire day. In a tragic turn of events, a senior doctor was killed and two others were injured in a road accident that occurred in Bai Thalangso, West Karbi Anglong district of Assam. The accident occurred last night when the car they were travelling in lost control and plunged into a ditch. The deceased doctor has been identified as Dr. Cliff Pator, a Dongkam Kumkam, West Karbi Anglong resident. He was in charge of the Bai Thalangso PHC. The injured parties have been identified as Dr. Mukrang Terang and health worker Edward Bay. They are currently receiving treatment and the condition is being closely monitored. The loss of Dr. Pator has left the local community in mourning as he was deeply admired for his dedication to serving the health care needs of the people. The police have apprehended four individuals, two hailing from Assam and two from Meghalaya, in connection with the rape incident during the Chenga Benga Mela at Gandhipara village near Garubada in southwest Garu Hills. One was arrested from a bus intercepted in Rajabala, while the remaining suspects were nabbed by Assam police near the border in Hatsingimari town. According to reports, the authorities received intelligence regarding the suspects' movements. Acting swiftly, a team intercepted a bus in Rajabala, where two assailants were attempting to flee. In a simultaneous operation, Assam police arrested two other suspects in Hatsingamari town near the border. Despite attempts to evade capture, the individuals were successfully detained by the authorities. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. 